Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while, but we are back with the content this year. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about these guys. Well, there's nothing inside of these cases because the filters are already on the lens. So yeah, but basically these are the KNF Nano Series filters. I have the diffusion filter or what some call a mist filter and an ND variable ND filter as well. Now I've already talked about what uh, variable ND filters are and I'm just going to touch on that uh, later on in the video. But diffusion filters are basically filters that give you a kind of bloom in your highlights and they also reduce the overall contrast in your image, uh, giving you a more cinematic look. I know guys don't like that term, but that's basically what it does. As for the variable ND, we've talked about that a lot on the channel. And as you should know by now, it's basically just sunglasses for your lens. So basically, if you have a really bright scene or you're shooting outdoors where the sun is super bright, uh, you slap on an ND and you can control the brightness without tampering your other settings on your camera that affect how the image look, especially shutter speed and aperture. So I got these specific filters from a shop called EA Mobitech. So they have quite a big offering from KNF, from diffusion filters to NDs to CPL to UV filters and uh, other more essential ones. So aside from getting these filters, I also got myself a set of step up and step down rings so that I could use the filters on any lens that I either own or that are drenched out. Because what those do is they allow you to adapt the filters uh, to different size uh, filter threads that are usually in the front of a lens. But the thing about lenses is most of them have varying sizes of filter threads. So I bought basically the biggest filter size that I could find, which is 82 millimeters. And then I got, you know, the, the, the step ups to be able to convert from 82 all the way down to 49, or I think the lowest is 42 or something like that. So this is really important because I own two lenses that have different filter thread sides and I didn't want to have to buy two sets of filters. And I also end up renting a lot of lenses in my work, like the Sigma 35mm 1.4, like the 7200G Master, the Sigma 2470. I've, I've also rented out some Tamrons. And all of these have filter thread sizes between like 67mm to 82mm. So if you've actually been uh, following me on my Instagram or my TikTok, you've actually seen me post a few videos where I've used these filters uh, in combination because one of the benefits that these filters have is that they're stackable so you can actually use them at the exact same time with the diffusion and the ND filter or use them alone. So just the diffusion alone or just the ND filter alone. So if you want to see some examples of how these filters work, you can just check out my page on Instagram or TikTok. I've posted about three or four videos. I'll also put them up here so you can see some previews about how they work. And in all these videos, I had a combination of both the ND and the diffusion filter or just a diffusion filter. I'll just indicate which videos used what exactly. But just as a benchmark as to see how they perform, this particular shot in this video is being recorded with both the variable ND on and the diffusion filter on. So this is how, you know, it looks like to have both of them on. I'll do you one better. I'm just going to give you an example of how it is with just the ND filter, just the diffusion filter, and then now we're back to both the diffusion filter and the ND filter. So that should give you a kind of clear, you know, image of how these work and how they affect the quality of your video and all that stuff. Now we'll swiftly move on to the pros and cons of these filters because again, these are pieces of glass that you're slapping in front of your lens and anything that you put in front of your lens is going to affect how your image looks. So first I'm going to talk about like the benefits of these filters and what I think is really good about them. Number one being the price. These I think are priced fairly well. Uh, there are a lot of filters out there that are way more expensive, especially if you look at ND filters. ND filters can go up to the hundreds of dollars, especially if you're looking at um, the ones that are collaborative, like the Peter McKinnon ones, they just end up being so, so expensive. The good thing about those ones though is that they don't have the imperfections I'll talk about in the cons, but these ones hold up pretty well, especially for the price. The next benefit I think is probably the quality. So just to give you a perspective, I did own some ND filters for my lenses before I bought this one. And to say that the quality difference is humongous, and I mean video quality difference, is it's just night and day. So my previous ND filters, while they're not terrible or the worst, they did have a lot of what I'd call um, chalking of skin texture. And basically at, at a certain point when you're turning the ND, especially towards the max end of the, of the ND, you'd get this skin texture look that made people look like they didn't have any skin texture. So it looked very, 
chalky and just not true to life at all. So this ND filter also doesn't uh, degrade the quality that much. Uh, I found that my previous ND filter would kind of make the footage a bit soft, but just by a little bit, not too much. I think that was too egregious that I couldn't uh, actually use it. But I do feel like this one actually didn't, uh, renders a much sharper image than the ones I used to have. So yeah, quality is a, what do you say? Quality is a? So yeah, uh, quality is a yes from me and these filters. What was next? I think price, any. So the next benefit for me is that uh, these filters are indeed stackable. Um, there's a bunch of filters out there that sometimes you can't uh, screw one onto the other. So you end up having to buy a, either a specific brand or just something else entirely. But these ones have threads in the front of the filter. So you can actually stack on more and more and more filters and even from just other brands and stuff like that. So being, being able to stack these is a really, really good um, experience because and now I'm able to combine both the ND and the diffusion. And if I wanted to throw something else wacky in front of there, I could still do that. So that's really nice. Lastly, I gotta say these do feel way more durable than my previous uh, filters, especially the NDs. Um, and another thing I really like actually is the case I think is way better. So the case for my previous NDs was this a foam like kind of padded case and basically it had space in the middle like the nd would, like the filter wouldn't actually sit flush uh completely inside the case so it would just dart around and i think with enough traveling that made it kind of a bit loose on the twist of the nd so i didn't really like that that much but these cases actually fix the filter in a one position so it's never actually moving when it's inside the case which is pretty nice and also it's generally the material of the filter itself like when you actually hold it there's so much weight to it and the metal of the filter actually feels premium and high quality like it's not gonna give in anytime soon so now on to the things i don't like about these filters because i'm always going to be impartial about things i don't like on gear number one is there is a very 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 evident color cast from the nd filter now it is nowhere near as bad as my previous ND filter that would make everything so much more warmer. Now, this one does give you a more warmer tint in your video, but it's not that bad to the point where I can't work with the footage and I can't just easily correct that in a Lumetri, just a quick slide adjustment, but it is there. The thing is now, if I combine it with footage that doesn't have the ND on, it does kind of take some time to correct, you know, one clip to the other. So that's, that is a disadvantage. But basically see it here in an example where I have no ND on and I have the ND on because the diffusion filter doesn't kick in any color casting, but the ND filter does have a color cast. But you can see it here, I've put side by side with the filter off and with the filter on. I'm just gonna show you a bunch of, you know, sections in this image where you can see uh, how it looks like with the filter on and the filter off and just the color cast that it gives because I've not corrected the white balance in this shot. The white balance is the exact same both shots. So it's not such a bad con in my opinion. So yeah. So that's gonna be it for this video guys. Uh, just a brief, you know, video talking about these filters because I believe filters are something that's not talked about enough or, you know, put forward enough because people don't think they're really important to each to me, it's crazy, but I do see a lot of people, you know, shooting outdoor scenes, no ND filter, people shooting bright situations, no ND filter. They're just cranking their shutter speed. Um, and I'll always people just say, you know what, it's just cause I have to crank the shutter speed to adjust my exposure. And a lot of these people could easily afford an ND filter and see the major difference that they would get in their footage. So I thought I'd make a video about it so that, um, you know, at least we can move in the direction of appreciating uh, filters that you can throw in front of your lenses because now they're actually available locally. You know, before you might have to have ordered some because I never used to see ND filters that much being sold locally. And if they were, they were not the greatest and they didn't have a good variety in terms of size and strength and all that. But now I don't think you really have an excuse. You know, if you want that depth of field, if you want proper motion blur and you're shooting outdoors, please, please, please invest in an ND filter. Just buy one, get some step up rings, you're sorted out. Ideally, um, unless it's a creative decision, it's not, it's not something that shouldn't be hampering you that much because it's such an affordable piece of tech. And yeah, so please do not throw spears at me in the comments. I'm just trying to help people get better footage. And if this is going to help you understand the benefits of these filters, then please, uh, you know, share the video 
uh, share it with your content creator friends, um, share it with your uh, photographer friends, videographer friends. And yeah, that's going to be for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please hit the subscribe button, please hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.